After a bunch of experiments, I figured out the only reason why you want to go and build Lela is because of her cryo application. You may ask me why, but yeah, that's what we're going to talk about in this video. The thing about her shield is that we have Diona, okay? And the thing about Diona is that her talent, if you do charge attack with her, she's going to have 75% damage absorption bone, which nobody has. And with Constellation 2, she gets additional 19%. That means like on top of this stats, 14.4 and 1773, you get additional 90% uh, shield absorption, which is fucking fantastic. And none of the characters have that, okay? She does not have it. Okay, she can only achieve it if you have, if you trigger her passive, which will give you 24%. And on top of that, if you have her constellation, uh, it gives like additional 20% shield absorption. So total that is going to be 44%. And if you go and use, yes, this artifact set, 24% HP. Look at that. That's uh, that's awesome. Which took me like uh, such a long time to farm. It gives additional 30%, uh, you know, shield strength. Okay, with conditions, her shields are very strong. The problem is her shield duration. The same problem is with Diona. And let's say I'm doing a rotation with my Yoimiya. So here's here's how it's gonna go. Okay, so I'm gonna do her burst, do her E skill, go to Nahida, do her this, and uh, then we have Shingcho, her E skill, come over here, do, Nah do her E skill, and then, you know, just hit them. Okay, now her shield disappears in the middle. Even though my E skill of my Yoimiya is active, her shield disappeared. So it's not very good thing if I have to, you know, go and fight anywhere because I'm not using a particular or dedicated healer in my team. So it's not a very good thing. That's the reason why Zhongli is considered one of the best uh, characters to have as a shield character. That's against the rules. That's against the rules. Come on, why are you so mad at me? The reason why Zhongli is amazing because his shield lasts for 20 seconds and is very strong. Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. <laughs> oh my bad. <laughs> I was not ready for it. I was not ready for this guy to do that. <laughs> do it again. Oh. But where are those? <laughs> I don't care. Zhongli shield lasts for 20 seconds. That is not something to joke about. That means like you can do your entire rotation without even worried about getting any damage. Okay, or putting the shield back on. So I'm really not gonna cry about who has the strongest shield in Genshin Impact. Now back to her cry application. We just saw like how good she works with Yoimiya, but we're gonna talk about it after in the video. Let's first talk about the type of freeze team that she goes and makes. Like in this freeze team, we have Hydro character as a main DPS. The reverse freeze team is something that I will be using a lot in the future. And I think like, you know, it has a lot of potential given the fact that we can totally go and use uh, characters like Kazuha to actually go and enhance our damage to a almost, you know, nuts amount. Sorrel Hydro, please. Yo. All the enemies died. So yeah, we clearly are missing most of the support characters and I wish her shield lasted a little longer, but uh, it's just a disappointment that it's it only lasts for 12 seconds. Let me show you what was not possible before, okay? Now this is a traditional freeze team where we have, uh, you know, Ayaka as a main DPS. In freeze team, like we have had very limited characters to go and use. So if we don't go and incorporate Bloom in the team, uh, uh, we didn't had much of a way to increase the damage. But the amount of Bloom core that we generally go and make in a, you know, traditional freeze team is really less. You may ask me why is that important because we do not have a lot of ways to increase the damage of this type of team. Only Kazuha works and apart from that everything else is you know really not the best idea so the other way where we increase the damage of this team is by having uh, lots of bloom damage. So what this new type of freeze team basically go and do is that we can create countless like legit countless amount of uh, bloom cores that we can uh, you know go and take advantage of. Let me just go and do this. Ayata. Now, we can keep the enemy frozen while creating an uh, insane amount of uh, bloom seeds that uh, result in lots of damage. We're only using healer because of corrosion. If we didn't have had corrosion, I probably wouldn't use a healer. And in this type of team, you can take things a step further and have someone like, uh, you know, official for a hyper bloom kind of thing. Let me just show you how it works. Oh, let me just do this real quick. Go there. Oh. So basically we have corrosion, so it's not really, you know, I cannot show you the true potential, but hey, it's actually fantastic. Bro. The hyper blooms are not going to spare the enemies. It's going to do 
a lot of damage you can definitely go and use mona for this thing uh this is my bolt 6186 someone asked for my mona's build so yeah that's what it looks like four piece heart of death with uh a 6186 uh, crit value with this weapon solar power well uh, let me just stay alive for a few seconds yes we're alive yeah 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 no 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 mona yep we're in the stars look at that hyper bloom 20k look at that look at that damage bro but this this team kind of needs some work this type of team is like totally possible possible with almost any hydro main dps five stars especially now let's talk about the pirate dps that works with her i think like uh so pirate dps got like a massive uh kind of upgrade because uh, we get to melt a lot in these teams we can freeze the enemies like this okay and uh we're not gonna get disappointed in the damage using the enemy is something that dilu can uh, take full advantage of that and i think it's pretty fantastic i don't have him with the best artifacts but you know freezing the enemy is really something good for pirate dps's i will not you know use hu tao and shangling in this kind of condition because they just have too much pirate application rosario works much better with hu tao and shangling in this kind of condition so i probably would not use Layla with a shangling and hu tao i will definitely be using xing Chou with Layla with diluc and yoimiya team also i don't mind throwing in Layla and uh, you know a little bit of a uh, virgin team because uh, definitely a uh, virgin works like a pretty decent pretty decent uh, nothing i can go and hate about in this kind of team the only problem is like uh yeah i mean it's fun if you guys don't know how four piece tenacity of the millet works let me just show you guys so this is my sheng cho with uh let me see the details so we don't have any shield strength thing on him okay so we're at our peaceful location i'm gonna go and use her e skill right on Xing Chao, right? So let's see. Shield strength is 6% because he has one star on him. Okay, two stars, three stars, four star details. Okay, so shield strength is increased to 54% because the extra 30% is caused by the four piece tenacity of the millet. You see 30% increase shield strength? Yeah. Only when the stars will hit the enemy that is going to happen and it's going to stay there for three seconds. And uh, once, uh, you know, the shield disappears, everything disappears, right? everything is gone uh, i wish the duration was a little longer it really sucks dude 30 uh, 12 second duration of the shield is really not the best idea not the best idea given the fact that she has such a high hp uh the weapon that i'm using on her is a uh, favonia sword with uh, level 60 favonia sword energy charge kind of needed that i'll be making toma video next because i am i was able to get his constellation 4 so i'll compare uh constellation 4 toma with a not constellation 4 toma because constellation 4 of 4 toma is actually a game changer and i want to show you guys the difference of it so yeah that's that's gonna be the next video okay so you know she went to sleep anyway so i'll see you guys in the next video